Hello everyone. After studying the basics of organic chemistry, after studying inductive effect, hyperconjugation, resonance, mesomeric effect, the concept of leaving group and uh, reaction mechanisms, now we are in position to go ahead and study reactions of organic one by one. Now basically we will be studying chapter wise as it has been given in the syllabus in the textbooks we'll start with hydrocarbon hydrocarbon is the first chapter to begin with and so we'll be beginning with hydrocarbon hydrocarbon from name it's clear would be compound which are made up of hydrogen and carbon exclusively for example methane methane is made up of carbon and hydrogen CH4 ethane ethane is C2H6 ethane is a hydrocarbon similarly ethene C2H4 is also a hydrocarbon because it is made up of hydrogen and carbon similarly acetylene is also made up of only hydrogen and carbon so it is also a hydrocarbon alcohols are not hydrocarbon they have hydrogen and carbon but they also have a functional group they also have it also have a oxygen atom and because of that we don't term it as a hydrocarbon rather we depending upon the functional group we call it alcohol or aldehyde or carboxylic acid or amine or whatever but nevertheless they are not hydrocarbons so if any compound has a functional group it will not come under the category of hydrocarbon hydrocarbon is one which exclusively has hydrogen and carbon all right so that is hydrocarbon there is one more class of hydrocarbon which includes benzene and uh, compounds like toluene phenol aniline and the list is long these are the class of hydrocarbon which have a cyclic ring and at least one ring is aromatic ring these are called arenes arenes are the class of hydrocarbon having at least one aromatic ring so this broadly these are the four class of hydrocarbons which we have to study they are alkanes alkenes alkynes and arenes right and this is the order in which we will go up in the chapter alkene are called saturated hydrocarbon alkenes and alkynes together are called unsaturated hydrocarbon and this is the class of hydrocarbon called as arenes now this we know so why saturated why unsaturated saturated here is in sense of hydrogen like if we say that the atmosphere is saturated of moisture that means it can bear no more moisture similarly here the sense of saturation is in terms of hydrogen like a alkene can bear no more hydrogen if we have a alkene for example ethene then we can add hydrogen via hydrogenation and one molecule of hydrogen will be added on this alkene and it will absorb two hydrogen atom to give alkene so it can take more hydrogen atom similarly acetylene will also absorb two mole of hydrogen molecule to give ethane so they can absorb more hydrogen so they are not saturated in terms of hydrogen so they are called unsaturated hydrocarbon and alkane is called saturated hydrocarbon and then there are general formulas of alkanes alkenes which you must be already aware of so this is uh, the basis basically what we have to study now without any dilly dally i'll come straight to the nub of the topic what we have to study in this chapter is we have to start with alkane study their preparation and reaction move on to alkene their preparation reaction alkynes their preparation reaction and then arenes mostly their reactions this is how we would proceed now quickly i'll start with alkanes we'll first study the preparations of alkane which will include the reaction of other functional groups like alcohol like uh alkyl halides like carboxylic acids which will be more clear as we proceed so let's begin with preparation of alkenes
Now th there will be various methods of preparation and the first reaction or the first method of preparation we will study is a very important one. So here we begin with the first formally the first reaction up till now we were preparing ourselves to understand reactions. We were studying with studying the basic concepts of organic of various effects and finally reaction mechanism. Now those will be applied here those concepts of um, basic concepts of resonance leaving group and reaction mechanism would be utilized to understand the reaction mechanism which is the trunk of the syllabus so the first method of preparation that we are going to study is Kolbe's electrolysis now this one is an important reaction in Kolbe's electrolysis what happens we take a sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid and then we pass electricity through the beaker containing the potash sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid and what we get is a alkene and there are other products like carbon dioxide gas hydrogen gas and a base will be formed as a product right now let's see uh, the mechanism how this reaction occurs and through that mechanism things would be clear from where carbon dioxide gas is coming from where hydrogen is coming and from where this base is coming so let me rub this off to create space to draw a diagram suppose this is a container the electrolytic container in which we will have an electrode two electrodes connect it through a battery an aqueous solution containing sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid so there will be water there will be potassium ion and there will be a carboxylate ion now one electrode will be anode one electrode will be cathode to determine which is anode which is cathode what you have to do is this is anion the one which is carrying negative charge is anion and the electrode to which anion will be attracted that would be anode now negative charge would be attracted by a positive charge so that means this negative ion will be attracted to an electrode having positive charge meaning an electrode attached to the positive terminal of the battery which is this so this will be anode this is attached to the negative terminal of the battery carrying negative charge so this due to negative charge will attract a positive ion attract a cation so this will be cathode alright this is a situation now let's see what reaction occurs in this container let's see the reaction at anode now at anode a anion will go the anion in the system is carboxylate ion this is the carboxylate ion now this carboxylate ion will go and shed one of its electron into the electrode it will come to the interface of water and electrode and after coming because this is having a positive charge because it is attached to the positive terminal of the battery now because of virtue of that positive charge electron out of this orbital of electron oxygen would be attracted and a kind of ionization or removal of electron from the orbital will occur that process will be called as oxidation loss of electron is oxidation so this oxygen will lose one electron oxygen has negative charge that means oxygen is carrying two electron right negative charge signifies this two electron we have discussed numerous times before so when one electron comes out oxygen is left with one electron which has been shown by a dot here and one electron comes out this is oxidation so the first step in the reaction is oxidation 